guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a metallics and halo look. So I wanted to do um, a halo look that is one of my favorite looks, but I wanted to start the new year off with something that I like, and that's uh, pressed pigments, halos, and metallics. Um, I'm also using this new metallic lipstick, liquid lipstick that I just got, so I can't wear to share it all with you. It is 2017 now, so let's have some fun with new different trends, new colors, and I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> let's go. I'm going to actually do my eyes first before anything else. Uh, I don't really use eyeshadow bases a lot. I like using Studio Finish Concealer from MAC Cosmetics as my eyeshadow base. It grabs eyeshadow really, really well. So I'm going to use shade NW15 and a fluffy brush. This one's from Luxie. Um, and put the cream concealer all over my eyes and a little bit underneath as well. So ColourPop just came out with two new palettes. Uh, this is the high maintenance palette. I'm going to be using this to do my transition color and also the darker colors on the inside and outside of this look. These two colors are just in time and high strung, I think. I don't I don't I don't understand how they how they put the names on these sometimes. So with the darker color in that palette, I put it on the inside and the outside of the eye. I have a lot of lid space, so it's easier for me to do this. If you have smaller eyes, you can still do it. Just don't put it as high. Always remember to blend it out after and then reapply again just to deepen the, the darkness. Because sometimes when you apply and then you blend it out, it loosens up the color and it doesn't look as vibrant. So for the lids, we're going to use one of my favorite eyeshadow colors. It's um, the color is called Harmony and it's from Hot Makeup Professional. It's from their Hot Candy eyeshadow collection. Now these eyeshadows contain dimethicone in them and when dimethicone is in a product, it usually means it's silicone based. So if you get these and you use them, you will, you will feel how creamy and smooth these eyeshadows are. You can use them both wet and dry. So I'm gonna be using the color Harmony to, and I'm gonna add it right on top of the top of the, the lid of my uh, my eyes, my ojos, ojos. And I guess you would call these like a, like pressed pigments. And I'm also gonna use that same color and a small brush, and I'm gonna put it right on the inner Ducks. I don't know what the how that part called inner duct or inner inner eyeball just to add a little bit of pop now for the bottom part I'm gonna go back with that color pop palette and I'm gonna bring in the darker color that I used on the sides Inside a little bit and then I'm gonna blend it out with the lighter color And then I'm gonna put the harmony right in the middle on the bottom, too We're not playing around with this look. It's gonna be really haloed out And before I throw that hot makeup right there to the insides, I like to put a little bit more concealer back on just because it's the under, it's the under lid. It's, it doesn't really, well for me, it doesn't grab, eyeshadow doesn't grab on as much as it does when I apply it to the top. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of pop of color to that waterline. So this is from Makeup Geek. It's their full spectrum eyeliner. This color is Orchid. Super pretty color. It's really pigmented. Uh, whenever I do halo looks, I like always adding a pop of color in my waterline. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna do is my brows. One of my favorite new cosmetics brands right now is a brand called Tamnova. They came out with this eyebrow powder. It is their brow styling duo in the shade Mink. I really like these powders because they're easy to blend. My problem with a lot of brow products um, is that if you ever use the cream like pencils that they break or if you use that the powders that they're really powdery and they don't settle, like they don't stay on and they puff out. 
This applies really, really nicely. You can use it wet or dry. I'm going to use it wet a little bit with some Fix Plus um, to really bring some uh, dimension to my brows and it darkens it up really nice, but there's two colors to it. It's really awesome. So my brows are uh, uneven. So one of my brows is fuller and higher and one is, no, no, this one is thinner and higher. This one's fuller and lower. So I always draw this one lower and then this one a little bit higher. And then I'll always take concealer and even it out on both sides just to make sure that they're defined and that they're both the same size. Because remember, eyebrows are our sisters they are not twins okay so next thing we're going to do is mascara you guys know what is my favorite mascara it's a smashbox in decent exposure it is super black really black 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 and i'm going to throw this bad boy on and then the lashes i'm going to use i don't know what to tell you i have no i i am pretty sure they're from a brand called iris beauty but i dropped my boxes and all my lashes kind of fell together and i don't know so when I find out what they are, I'll let you know. But I'm going to pop some mascara, curl the lashes, and throw those bad boys on. Oh, ah, I stabbed myself. Don't ever use mascara fast. Oh my god, that's so funny. Sandra did Sandra did that to herself once in her video and I reposted it and that thing got like a million views. It was so funny. This is a dangerous game, but somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> doop, doop, doop. Okay, so now with the eyes done, now we're gonna we're gonna do our face. I am gonna be trying out uh I've used it a couple times already, but Nyx just sent me this. Total Control Drop Foundation. It's a buildable coverage, so if it tells you actually on the boxes, if you do two drops, it's a light coverage. Three drops is a medium coverage. Four or more is full coverage. So we're gonna try it out. I've only used a couple of drops um, as when I do it for boy makeup, and it's really, really, really nice. So I'm gonna try it, but before I do that, I'm actually going to uh, do some color correcting. So I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Longwear, no, no. LA Girl Pro Longwear, get it together, Henry. The LA Girl Pro Concealer uh, Color Corrector in orange because um, Daddy's got a little bit of scrubs and a little bit of dark circles, so he gotta fix that. And then I'm gonna use the Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer on top of that to cover it all up. We gonna go conceal it down. Now the shade that I'm using for uh, the Central Skin Enhance from Kevin Aquan is SXO2. It's a really light color. And I'm gonna be applying the NYX uh, Drop Foundation with the Kat Von D brush in number 10. This has just been one of like my favorite brushes to use. Okay, so we're gonna use the Alley Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. I'm gonna add it with the brush and then blend it out with another brush. Actually, I lied, this isn't Beautiful Bronze. This is Toffee. Hey, but it still looks good. I've actually never used this as a contour before. They're really nice. This is what happens when you just use stuff and assume. And just FYI, I'm really liking this NYX foundation. I usually, Actually, I don't like water foundations because they never stay. They don't blend that well. And if you ha and if your primer is too thick, or it's, there's too much of a silicone, a dimethicone in your primer, then the the water foundation eats it up and it starts to like crackle. I ain't gonna say no names, but Nyx doesn't do this. This is really really nice. And then to set it, I'm going to be using the balm. The Photo Bomb Powder Foundation. Uh, they just sent these to me. These are really, really cute. I love their packaging. The one I'm going to be using is Light. So after set that, I'm going to use um, 
uh, Girlactic just came out with a luminous face veal. Uh, this is the color see-through. They're, they're, they have a lot of pigment in it. So whenever you use any, any of these, make sure you use sparingly or else it's gonna, it's gonna go everywhere. But this is really awesome. And I'm gonna use it as my highlight. Mm-hmm. Yes. Are you blinded? Are you, are you on home on your computer all? <laughs> so just to add a little bit of warmth back onto my face, I'm going to use, if I can find it, because I'm, oh, Hot Makeup's Bronzer and MB15. I like it because there's a lot of red undertones in it. And I'm just going to warm up my face a little bit with it. And I'll add a little bit to the side of my nose as well. So for my lips, I'm going to be using one of my favorite new colors from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, it's his uh, Metallic Velour Liquid Lipsticks. This is the color Pussy Whipped. That's a ratchet ass name. <laughs> I love it. So with Metallic Liquid Lipsticks, I've tried a couple of the formulas. I'll be honest, I do not like a lot of them because I feel like once you put it on, they start to chunk up and then they start peeling off and then you can't keep reapplying it because then they chunk up what's already been chunked up. But this color right here is amazing. And of all of the uh, brands that I've tried the metallics, this is uh, the Jeffree Star uh, ones that I've tried are my favorite because they don't do that. All you other makeup companies step it up because I can't, I can't be, can be supporting it if they just falling off my lips or maybe something's wrong with my lips my bitch doesn't drink a lot of water so <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying water and to final this to to, to complete this look uh I like using highlights. I love using warm tones, but when you use a lot of warm tones, sometimes your face starts to kind of look the same. So I want to add a little bit of a, of a blush to my cheeks just to just give a little bit of life. Smashbox has this LA Lights palette. There is just so many colors in this. It's it's bomb. Bomb diggity. And I'm going to be using the um, the True Pink Berry just to add a little bit of color to my cheek. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. You, you, you better like it. <laughs> so I know I do Halo looks a lot. So if you have any suggestions of other looks you want me to do, please do this. Uh, one of the next looks I'm gonna be doing is going to be one of the the contest that I put up and you guys chose the look. So I'm going to be really excited to film that. But for the start of the new year, I wanted to do some metallics, some halos, and some new products that are coming out in 2017 from all of my favorite brands. So if you are not subscribed, please do so. I hope you're pressing the like button and leave me comments, please. I love engaging and reading everybody's comments and ask answering. I said answering answering all the questions that you're asking. So until next time, bye.